and welcome back to uh, the next talk of Solar Punk 2077. Uh, we just heard the lovely uh, Radio Cosmica coming from Mexico talking about, um, yeah, how to heal through radio, through radio waves. Uh, and that's, I guess, a good um, uh, intro into what's coming next. Uh, I would like to welcome my friend, uh, my own phone uh, to, to, to today. Uh, he's going to be talking to us about, <laughs> hello, my own phone, uh, guerrilla living syndrome, uh, or the anarchist hospital, as you also call it sometimes, uh, sharing a bit about yeah, the imagination and other forms of living together in this planet. Welcome, my own phone. Can you please introduce yourself? Okay. Hello, uh, my name is Amal Yongfu. I'm an uh, artist and, and a curator based in Berlin, but I was living in China for many years, most, most of the time in Beijing and Shenzhen and uh, some other cities. Uh, but I'm doing a lot of different projects. Uh, and it's kind of a non-traditional non or non-conventional art project. Uh, so, but. Yeah, so uh, today I, I'd like to actually I'm not not I'd like to come to to do the face to face interview, but uh, I have to do this uh, self courting today because uh, I have I have been outside of the Berlin for several days, so that's uh, today I'd like to introduce the project. Uh, it was initiated by Forget Art in 2011 and. Um, and the 20, uh, 2012, because uh, the, 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 the project uh, uh, named the uh, Guerrilla Living Syndrome. It's like, you know, because in, in tradition China, in the, especially in the fast uh, developing, you know, big city in China, like uh, Shanghai, Beijing, and Shenzhen and Guangzhou, the many young people live there and, to work there, but the the, the government urges the, the young people to to try to uh, buy property according to their some tradition and concept or you know some you know ideology. The the people think that you are if you become a successful man in China, you should buy some proper um, uh, prop properties and buy some apartment. It's not like, uh, you know, in Germany, in Berlin, you don't need to buy some property, you just uh, rent some... As, I mean, it's after the, you know, the, the communi communist China, it's become very harsh and very tough and very deep and capitalism in China. Actually, it's a very, um, it's a mixture, it's a mixture of the, um, you know, the new liberal uh, capitalism. And, uh, and also, I, I, I think that the government tried to ask the young people to buy property or because they, they, want, the, they want this young people uh, don't, you know, they, they try to occupy their life uh, with money, with, with property with you know cars with luxurious with the uh, entertainment and uh, and it makes them have no energy to do any kind of resistance and you know to some other and you know very uh, you know very different idea also you can't just because you have a lot of but uh, if you have a lot of burden burden like a life bur living burden, uh, burden or, li or some uh, pressure. You don't, need, you don't have any kind of time and energy to think how, uh, your, the community you are living, you know. That's, that's why I, in the 2011, I, uh, I have um, talked, I have talked with some artists, architects and some anarchists uh, and also activists. We want to do some projects about this, uh, you know. This is some very relative and 
feel a very, you know, stable living place and try to against the very tradition and the convention, conventional uh, idea about how to live in the big city or in the, and it's, it's also like today that we, we are trying to many, uh, many new anarchists to try to reclaim the networks, try to reclaim the, you know, the online media. We, but, but on the other hand, we, we have to, you know, reclaim the tradition space because the many tradition space have been abandoned, like a street and factory and, you know, the, 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 even the, the museum spaces. So a lot of, lot of space have, 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 have been abandoned by the, the you know, the, 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 the new generation. They lot of time, uh, spend too much time on, on the, you know, online in the, some social media. So, but this project tried to urge the young people to, to use their imagination. Like this, uh, like, like this, you can see this uh, tricycle uh, caravan and with the megaphone, there's some, uh, some, some slogan from a uh, French uh, philosopher, uh, Guy Debord, imagination at power. Actually, I want to change a little bit. Uh, it's, uh, I, I can, we can call it to empower your imagination. Today we need we need also need need to like an anarchist a real anarchist we need to empower uh, our imagination to make some very uh, very alternative way to to, to living. So actually, don't need uh, that's the basic uh, thinking and uh, about uh, you know how to make this project uh, in the street or some in the square or some in the occupied place or, or some uh, squatted, squat, squatted place. And you can, you can create, you can use the imagination to create and make a remake and recreate, uh, you know, some, uh, some, some living structure or some asylum, or you can call, uh, you can call it what, uh, what you want. And, uh, so um, uh, we 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 have asked uh, yeah we have asked almost um, forty or fifty artists and and, uh, and uh, young arch young artists and architects uh, to to make some project in the street, a uh, square and uh, some other other places they like they can every every, every artist and uh, architect they can use their you know their experience to create some uh, some some you know griller living living structure or living asylum mm. yeah uh, i remember one of the artists one of the young artists makes some easy to bring cocoon it's uh, it's it's like a design you know cocoon and uh, he can easily to bring this uh, it's like a bag it's like a uh, you know, tote bag, but it's a little big. You can and uh, he can he can he he could bring it uh, anywhere and uh, and open it very quickly and uh, to live there. So it's very it's very interesting. There are many interesting works, uh, and many interesting works appear in the streets um, and uh, also you know everywhere in the square and in the, even in the in the in the forest. Uh, the many, so, and this this picture was this picture was created by the uh, was recreated in in front of one of the museum art museum in in Shanghai. It's uh, M C A M Museum of Contemporary Art, uh, Ming Contemporary Art Museum, Shanghai, and. Uh, because after seventy or eighty years, uh, this museum have uh, you know commissioned uh, uh, us to recreate this project in front of the museum. So I then I asked some people together to make the uh, you know it's like an anarchy camp in front of the museum. Also, we we have a we have a. We have brought one of uh, also 
and combine the art project together with this this camp together. It's a, it's an online podcast and radio. It's uncut. It's also a, a initiated in in twenty in twenty twelve, and with the two other friends. And uh, th this uh, this online radio is um, it's uh, dedicated to some social social socially engaged art, social action programs. And uh, last year we have uh, interviewed some you know Hong Kong pro, pro democracy activists in Berlin uh, last year. So we combined this uh, radio together. You can uh, radio with uh, this anarchy camp together. You can see the, the the caravan. There's a big megaphone. Megaphone um, uh, was installed on the on the uh, on the caravan, and uh, and we can and uh, during during the opening and uh, and sometimes I also do some uh, uh, you know guerrilla guerrilla Shanghai uh, Shanghai radio, and I I. I did a you know live interview with some you know uh, some activists in Shanghai and uh, some anarchists uh, and uh, inside of this caravan or or sometimes I use the recording material to to broadcast uh, in front of this uh, square in front of this uh, uh, museum and this <laughs> this microphone actually is a it's according to my memory. It's come from the people's commute, you know, in seventies. It's a very big. Uh, it have a lot of. Uh, I mean, the, the voice is very big. It can it it could spread a uh, five hundred meter away or even uh, eight hundred meter away. It's so, so very the 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 voice is very big. And big and also the uh, the uh, the. The the opposite of this uh, the, the anarchy uh, camp is the uh, it's a school it's a primary school. it's a middle uh, it's not it's um, high school even students from high school can can hear this uh, you know voice uh, can this program because uh, because the, the, the but most because uh, most of the most of the tracks are very sensitive in China I have tried to build some. Uh, platform uh, in China, but it was banned. Uh, and they have delete, uh, deleted all of my tracks uh, overnight. So, so I have to, uh, I have to put this platform uh, in uh, on SoundCloud. Now the, the, you can check the, the, you can check the voice, uh, you can check all the tracks and uh, archive from SoundCloud. Uh, and um, you know, SoundCloud uncut, uh, and also that this uncut uh, radio it can uh, it's uh, um our motto is uncut and uh, uncensored and unlimited. You can talk whatever you want. We don't un uh, we don't we don't cut we don't edit we don't uh, censor any any kind of the any uh. Any any of the you know contents, you can you can speak whatever you want, so no one try to you know to censor you or or cut you or or, or manipulate you. So we combine this together, and uh, the, so this, because I ha I haven't found some picture from uh, uh from uh, from twenty you know. From 2011, so I use this picture in front of the museum. But that's that's uh, that's very urgent, for in, especially in China, because in China, uh, China in 20 and 30s uh, uh, of last last century, the anarchy, anarchy, I mean the anarchy was uh, was was spreading very well in. Before the Marxism have a you know have a have a, uh, have appeared, many many activists uh, they believe in anarchists, but um, since the Chinese uh, CCP Chinese Communist Party 
they took the power, become the they become a very very you know the authoritarian, a totalitarian um, uh, government. So that's that's why I, I uh, that's why I told to some some friends. Yeah, so that's that, that's just a big difference between the Marxist, Marxist and the anarchist. Because Marxists, if they have opportunity, they will they would like to took the power and become totalitarian. And the anarchists, they don't want to took to take some power. They want to empower uh, people. They want to share the power to, to other people. So that I think the, I think in China, the people need to the more, uh, more and more anarchist uh, you know, concept and uh, thoughts to share. But it, you have to, as an anarchist, yeah. Uh, just, Hello? Yes, sorry. So going back to that last point you said is that basically you were saying that before the, the uh, nationalist and communist revolution, the biggest mm. revolutionary movement in China in the early 1900s was actually anarchism. Is that correct? Uh, yeah, yeah. It's, it's a very short time, just uh, 10 years, I think. Uh, from, uh, from, from 19... Uh, from 1918 to the, you know, to the 1928, maybe after that, uh, the, the most people believe in the, or oh, we should believe in the Marxism because we, we need to take down the Qing dynasty and we, and uh, yeah, because uh, we, we want to build a strong um, country to, to, because we, we, we were, uh, you know, because the, the, the communist, uh, the, the the, the activists they ask the paper they, they let the paper think oh we were we were uh, you know uh, uh, we were you know exploded by the by the imperialist like uh, like you know the Great Britain or or some 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 colonial colonial uh, colonial uh, power you know. So that's uh, that's uh, that's why the they are uh, they, they try to let young people to believe in Marxi Marxism and not anarchism because anarchism is some um, is more liber libertarian and more you know individual or sometimes uh, so but today the uh, it's a many uh, it's, in China, many people don't know um, don't know anarchism because uh, not many media and not many platform have uh, you know have uh, tried to promote the anarchism in China, and people have uh, have uh, you know discredit and um, tried to discredit um, anarchism. Oh, this, that uh, they told the young people oh, it represents some you know chaos and uh, unsteady society. And your life will be, and your life will be getting influenced. And uh, people, and the, the, the government try to use people. So, you know, oh, everybody, need, uh, everybody need to study, and you know, life, and they can you can live a very good living. And uh, anarchists represent some, you know, you know, violence, and uh, you know. Mm, vandalism or something and uh, they try to create uh, but it's not it's not true it's be because it's not true so that's why we try to the artists to try to the sometimes if you i think the art it's a very good way to to take uh, to use and and take the um, take, uh, and take uh, advantage Contemporary art as a tool to spread some anarchism, it's easier to let people accept because they they can they can they could find some fun and, and interesting things to share together. Then they they you, you don't need to actually you don't need to tell them oh anarchism or something. But we 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 just use use some uh, you know very practical substantial action and um, and the community to let people to believe in uh, 
we can do it, uh, you know. So there are many kinds of, uh, I, there are many kinds of, you know, practical ways like people to think, oh, this is the very idea. Uh, this is what I, I really want to do. Like, uh, like many, many artists, ad, ad, uh, artists and the young people, they actually, they want to do, they, and they want to invent, they want to recreate their life, not just live a boring, uh, you know, modern apartment or some, some, you know, you, some uh, living with, with some burden, a uh, burden or pressure. Actually, they want to uh, live an interesting life uh, without burden, and they, they want to have, uh, you know, travel and uh, they make their things. Uh, so that's, uh, and this, uh, art, art, pro artistic, uh, art project, uh, it's easy to let people to excite this, uh, so that's why we, we, we try to do this project uh, in the uh, long term. So it's a long term project uh, from, uh, from uh, to until now. So uh, we're still doing this and also we're still, still doing the uncut, uncut podcast. But it's, you know, it's, uh, it's kind of uh, sometimes the, uh, it's, a, it's, it's a random and also sometimes it's um, improvised media like uncut we don't don't have a schedule to to make some interview if we found if we found some interesting person or interesting project we would we we would like to do that so we combine so we combine these two projects together to make the, the camp and some you know some uh, some uh, some interviews and online um, streaming in in front of the museum, but um, but we 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 are not only do this in front of the museum. We we uh, we we would like to do it more in some streets and the city square. Actually, in twenty in twenty fifteen, I I was uh, I was doing some. Uh, Refugee project in Belgrade and Serbia, also in 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 the public square. I, I was invented by the the European alternatives uh, to do some project in the in the city square, in Belgrade. So then and uh, and uh, in the some projects I some projects I, I also. I think the artists should uh, use their imagination to 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 trick some uh, new possibility for the for the you know for the social activists, and not just the thing at studio to do some. Uh, that's my that's my basic uh, thinking about uh, today's artists is not to stay in the studio. They should go to the. They should you know uh, they should you know appeared in the street and to making mm, that square and some, you know, some offsite, uh, making some offsite projects. I'm, all, I'm also, yeah. I, ha I, I have also made some project in, uh, in some, uh, in, in, in the univers university square, in, in the university, uh, university Bologna. In 2012, and uh, because uh, there's a big demonstration and the protest uh, in the square, so I I was asked to to make some uh, projects with the students together. And so I made a lot of uh, you know you know uh, the recycled um, cardboard and some uh, you know banners uh, and. Uh, uh, to make and also some, uh, I and I I, I sprained uh, some many sentences on, on it and tried to make conversation with the uh, local students. Improve and also I want to uh, 
challenge in their there's what are what what they're seeking so that's a lot of a conversation in squares that's a very interesting experience for me so because many students say they would like to come to write down write write uh, write it down their seeking we we have we have a lot of uh, you know recycled uh, cup uh, cardboard uh, cardboard and some banners uh, empty for the for them to use but uh, you, you, we want, we want to, you know, launch some, uh, uh, some, you know, provocative uh, conversation, because uh, we, we want to doubt it is a carnival or some uh, result or something. So that's that's try to make some uh, street uh, discussion with the students. Uh, how, why do they come to protest? Why, uh, what they are protesting? It's a carnival or. or So, so because there are no, you know, opposite pressure like China. In China, you can't go to the street to do any kind of protest and demonstration after 1918 because the Tiananmen massacre. Uh, the Chinese Communist Party have cracked down any kind of protest and uh, demonstration in the streets. You have no, uh, you have no possibility to do that. And uh, if you appear in the street to do the demonstration, you will be you will be get arrested in, in in five minutes. So so that's uh, that's why they, they try to crack down the pro democracy demonstration, very big one in in Hong Kong. Beca because of this 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 communist party they come from the uh, they come, they took the power through you know uh, through weapons. So they they. They truly believe in the weapon, like the Chairman Mao said. The, um, all the power come from the weapon, so they don't afraid any kind of uh, demonstration. They use a uh, very different. Of course, after the, now that they don't, they don't use the very violent uh, massacre like the Tiananmen uh, Square. Now they use a very different way, like you know, online uh, surveillance and uh, censorship. And now they use the infiltration and and they, they use the you know the gangster to, to manipulate the demonstration. So that they use a very very they try to use every resource to 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 take down any kind of resistance in China. So that, that's a, that's a, that's a very. Um, very tremendous challenge for for the Chinese activist. That's uh, actually that's why I, that's why that's why also I I have left there and I tried to come to Berlin because uh, sometimes you can't do any you can't do anything. Uh, you, you feel very depression about uh, what is happening around you. Um, I try to do something here, maybe to, to help the, the people in, in China. Mm. But but uh, according to the you know the experience I I have uh, I have been working in the contemporary art field. I I, I truly believe it today's because I I I believe the the contemporary art most of the contemporary art uh, today is very boring because it was very gentrified. And the deep, very deep, very you know, it's very deep uh, commodity. It's so it's, it's an, so I, I that's why I want I want to create some non uh, to immaterial. And you know, uh, immaterial and also some uh, pro projects and try to you know try to make the try to make the you know. to use some, uh, you know, even for the anarchy, I think some, uh, some of the, uh, it's, it's also have um, problems. So, so anarchy hospital is maybe some kind of self heal, you know, because uh, you, you have to self reflection and self thinking about what you're doing and then, then you can, 
you can find some, uh, uh, you know, cutting edge or some uh, any uh, no uh, the interesting idea to to practice to to. So that's uh, what I'm thinking. I'm, uh, but I, it's, it's interesting. I have uh, when I was living in Kreuzberg, Berlin, I have found many you know many anarchist uh, camp around the Kreuzberg and uh, along the you know along the, the Spree River, and also the some squatting uh, apartment. Uh, that's very interesting and. Uh, and even in the 2018, in the in Kostbeck, we also have some movement to against the you know the Google camp, and it works. It's very interesting. But also, I'm I'm with international. Activists and uh, and anarchists uh, uh, from China tried to make some uh, communic uh, communication uh, platform also and exchange exchange some uh, interesting idea about how to build some interesting commons and also some you know to 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 fight with uh, fight with the today's you know. Uh, Unfair or some um, society, and also the yes, yeah, the today's and uh, also the the today's the total control. And actually, it's very interesting. You can you can you can find it today the. We also we are living in very you know technology uh, time also or oh, some some philosopher called uh, Anthropocene. Uh, we are living the Anthropocene time a time a time of uh, Anthropocene, but actually we have a lot of a uh, uh, lot of you know exploitation, explo um, a lot of censorship, a lot of uh, invisible and intent intangible uh, crackdown about people. And uh, today's, uh, today's control is uh, sometimes uh, it's invisible. So you can't feel that. So that's, uh, we have to we have to find the, the, that's let's uh, like last time we have talked about uh, we have we have to know uh, exactly what they are doing like a government or this the financial system and they're what they're doing then we are uh, and uh, also this technology background we, we should know something about this technology finance and also this uh, national uh, Nation, nation state control. What's what's their new strategy and tactical to how to control people, how to censor people? Then we 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 can know how to fight with them. We we can't uh, you know we can't uh, fight. Uh, we we can't fight uh, like a traditional anarchist. Uh, traditional anarchist is uh, it, it doesn't work now. You know it it really doesn't work. So that's why we, we should uh, we should develop some new idea about how to fight with this the new 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 exploitation. Yeah, that's uh, some basic thing uh, thinking about the, yeah because uh, according to the you know the experience and and uh, you know practitioners I have done I have deeply uh, believed. Today, um, but we have to make the uh, you know uh, two two different uh, you know resistance online and offline. You know, it's, uh, we have to find the weak points of the, this uh, this system and uh, to to fight with them and not just uh, you know not just fight them uh, blindly. You know. 
that's what I'm thinking uh, all the time about this. But do you have some uh, question or? Hello, yeah. Julio. Yeah. Sort of, uh, I, first, I would like to really thank you for your reflections. Um, mm. Yeah, I uh, I am very yeah very moved by a lot of the things that you you said. Um, specifically, this last part of how like we need to even go beyond these typical ideas or traditions that we have of anarchism. Uh, and really imagine other worlds and other practices of ways of, of fighting these structures of domination, like the state surveillance, the capitalist surveillance, uh, also how to hack uh, all these technologies and, and into, into different ways where we can democratize them, or I don't know, even as we heard before also from uh, Radio Cosmic and Cyber Girls, like how to, how to like uh, heal also through, this, through these practices. And, I want to uh, ask you maybe a little bit, because you only touched uh, barely on it, uh, about the anarchist hospital. Uh, what is it? How did you thought about it? And, uh, and how can we make it a reality? Actually, anarchy hospital is kind of, uh, mm, you know, rethinking about anarchism. Because uh, as maybe, maybe different, uh, we have all, uh, we have uh, we have all, uh, we have um, many, you know, and can many different kinds of anarchism before, but uh, um, what's facing today is a new technology, new financial system, and the new social structure. We need some new uh, perspective to fight with today's, uh, um, you know, institution or um and uh, in invisible um, enemies. So that means uh, we, we anarchists, we should have, uh, it's like a hospital. We go there to check our, our you know, bad, uh, our weakening, uh, weak points, and then we overcome that. Yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's I mean, I mean, the self, self, uh, uh, well, we, we know our self limitation, our self restriction, our self, uh, uh, you know, weakness, and then we, we know how to find them. That's that's the basic thinking about anarchy. That means every anarchist have uh, need go to hospital to, to check by themselves, and then in solidarity with other people, and we can uh, because maybe other people it's a very good measure for you and. The, like we have a, a lot of exchange about the new anarchism. So then we can find, uh, oh, like we are, we are living in the hospital, we, we, you know, we, we, we treat each other and we found some interesting idea to work together. You know, that's uh, the basic idea hmm. wow, about yeah. anarchy hospital. Yeah, wow. <laughs> 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 I really see that I see it in a lot of my my friends who organize here in the left in Berlin and other places like the need to really have a space just to reflect and and calm down and not organize for a little bit uh, so then they can come back you know otherwise it's like we're burning ourselves into the fire we're just going into the beast and you know uh, by ourselves individually pretending that we can stop it right and I think. Maybe we do need to also take back, as you were saying, this uh, uh, not just the virtual spaces but the physical spaces, so that we can create, uh, yeah, yeah. you know, anarchy hospital <laughs> with uh, you know, uh, with running water and and everything else that we need, uh, hopefully. And um, yeah, like in Exarchia, they have uh, anarchist hospital that uh, helps people when they don't have the, the okay. in, in ability. To, yeah. to pay for healthcare, okay. they can go to these anarchist uh, station for pharmaceuticals and everything. Interesting, interesting. Uh, that's, that's, uh... Yeah, actually, it's, uh, the, yeah, police did talk about the uh, real hospital, physical hospital. It also works because in the future, uh, yeah, maybe in Germany, some some uh, poor people cannot go to a hospital to do you know, to heal themselves. So maybe it's also a good idea to have some, you know, 
public um, hospital to, to, you know, any key hospital to treat some uh, people they want, they really want, they really need uh, the, some doctors. Also, it's a good I idea, you know. I guess it's also a way of decentralizing the knowledge about our bodies. Like today, nobody knows about their own body, you know, like. Most people, especially us men, I feel like we never thought about how our own physiognomy works and so on. Uh, we're so out of touch with it. And I feel like really creating a space where people can learn about these things um, and then also healing uh, each other is a way where, like, we, yeah. you know, we can all be doctors somehow. I mean, that's very idealistic. Probably a doctor will laugh at me. <laughs> but, <laughs> but you know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's, uh, yeah. Yeah, so that's uh, yeah. So the, because uh, now we have a uh, very we have the big uh, the very serious uh, you know severe situation with the pandemic. Uh, after this pandemic station, all the country have uh, you know have a stress and, and they, you know, squeeze the, the people's power and, you know, try to centralize the, the power. Even the German government, uh, of course, the Chinese government, they, they try to take down, I mean, they try to control totally, 100% about people. So that's also, it's um, the big hospital all around the world now. So that's, uh, like people let us to think about, you know, what uh, we're living around uh, us, you know. Yeah. It's a, it's a, it's a world hospital now, you know, yeah. everywhere. Yeah, and how do we create those spaces for mutual aid, mutual care, uh, that, you know, we can actually like build that bottom up uh, health. Uh, tomorrow we will have uh, the people from uh, the hologram, uh, Kase, Kase, you forget her last name, and Max Haven will be speaking about Kase it. Thornton. Kase Thornton. Will, and uh, Max Haven will be speaking a bit about this peer-to-peer -peer health care, care, care tool, so watch out for that tomorrow. And then the other thing my own phone I wanted to go back to in your in your very interesting talk was about um, sort of the this whole thing of the Marxist uh, taking power and becoming totalitarian. We've seen that happening in China and in, in the Soviet Union. In many parts of the world, really in Latin America as well, um, to some extent also, uh, and so it, it makes me wonder, right? Because now you, you know there are, many, there are many layers to this. Uh, like if you look at the debates now uh, for democracy in Hong Kong, like you mentioned, and also Taiwan as a as a sort of like some people call it the other China or whatever, there is this sort of uh, back and forth between China and Taiwan and, and also Hong Kong about like what is the real China, right? And like, which one is uh, uh, communist and which one is capitalist? But in the end of the day, as you said, they're both, I mean, China is capitalist, so they're both a uh, capitalist nation. So for me, I wonder if the future of uh, China might be like an anarchist federation, uh, as in like, you know, all these places can autonomously organize themselves and then democratically decide over what, what pertains to them without having this, of doubt totalitarian regimes which just uh you know destroy the planet through their practices of exploitation and extraction of resources so i wonder if you see the possibility of an anarchist china uh whether that's just in uh Zhongwa or uh, or in the whole uh, chinese speaking world actually china uh, china is a culturally invented uh, a term it's not uh... We don't call it China before. We have because we have many di dynasties, like from Qin Dynasty to uh, Tang Dynasty to to uh, uh, Qing Dynasty. There are many dynasties, so the, every dynasty have a different culture, and we also have Mongolia and the Manchu people have uh, governed uh, us. Uh, you know, so have a uh, you know. Uh, so China is very complicated uh, term. Mm. And uh, for for the for the anarchist uh, um, anarchism uh, the future uh, anarchist the future in China, I think in the rural area and some in some of the, the uh, you know not easily controlled area, it's 
it's uh, it's still you can develop some anarchy community and uh, but now it's the Chinese community community they want a Chinese Communist Party they want to they want they want to make a very large um, commerce um, structure like me it's, uh, it's like uh, the dynasty like the Qin dynasty Be because uh, 2000 years ago China is a country uh, it's not like uh, like Europe it's like a, it's not like a feudal system it's uh, it's a uh, Today we call it uh, authoritarian or total, uh, authoritarian or totalitarian, mm -hmm. um, but uh, it's it's a structure uh, have uh, existed for two thousand years. It's a very strong uh, structure. It's not easy to break uh, break, um, break down, you know. So and also because the Marxism have a, a spread in China, they combined this uh, a tradition, large, a large commerce uh, structure together. And it tried to control every small commerce uh, structure. That means uh, that means anarchist group or some, uh, some non-profit or NGO. All the, uh, the, 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 they tried to you know, uh, crack down all these small uh, groups. Because they want all the all the group, all the people. They want all the people become sand, become uh, sand, and uh, to uh, to believe to believe in the the central government. Yeah, that, that's why the the, the decentralization uh, in China become centralized centralization. Like you know, uh, what's what do you call the what's um, what's the new technology? Uh, okay. Chihuahua. Oh, Chihuahua. The, 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 what's the, what, what's the English name? Blockchain. Blockchain in China become a centralized blockchain. You can't imagine that. <laughs> so all the new technology in China have become the new weapon, a new technology weapon to control people. It's not the future. It's, it's not a bright, uh, bright, brilliant future for people to share. It's not about anarchist, it's about control. That's a totally different, you know, uh, perspective in China. So I think it it's still have some possibility to develop some anarchist, but not in the big cities, uh, maybe some uh, rural area and some, you know, maybe, maybe in Taiwan, uh, Hong Kong. Hong Kong, it's not possible uh, now because Hong Kong have, a, they have controlled Hong Kong totally now. And Taiwan maybe, but I know there are also some. Uh, this, it has some small uh, anarchist group in Wuhan and in 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 Guangdong. They are active. Uh, activist or student. Yeah, I I don't know what's the, what's the future, but I feel like it uh, it, it should. They will develop. Uh, they, it will evolve uh, by themselves. Mm. But the the, 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 China, the central government uh, don't like this, you know. Uh, apparently. Yeah, I wonder why. <laughs> of course, because they want <laughs> they thought it's uh, illegal or some uh, uh, illegal. Um, so assembly, illegal assembly, illegal things. Uh, it's a, uh, it's a. Uh, but, but at the same time, at the same time in China, well, it, it was interesting. Now you mentioned this whole like mixture of structures of like the the like sort of the ancient the dy dynastical patriarchal tradition with mixing in with this Marxist uh, state uh, socialism, and mm -hmm. and that, the construction of China as this mix of. Uh, you know, confusing China as when people talk about China, oftentimes it's hard to separate between the Chinese people, the Chinese communist government, and like the place as it as it were. Uh, and oftentimes, th I think that that is kind of like this construction of China you were talking about that is so hard to to tear apart, which is really just a, a very new historical thing, no? Um, yeah, and, and and based on that, I would like. Also, uh, also ask, like, what about these other democratic traditions that, for example, 
our friend here who was uh, in, in Rojava and Kurdistan was talking about, like you have this, these traditions of Taoists, uh, Taoist philosophers, Taoism, and also even Buddhism. Um, wouldn't you, you say that maybe uh, there is some sort of grassroots uh, uh, remnants there, uh, or was it all chopped out by the Cultural Revolution in China? Uh, what do you mean? It's, uh, I mean, the Buddhism or Taoism, Do uh, they, they have some... Uh, yeah, like, do they have any sort of uh, grassroots democratic, uh, uh, I would say even anarchistic uh, potentials in, in China, or uh, were, they all, uh, were they all like eliminated by the Chinese communist regime? Uh, now the, the meaning is... Uh, because in China, they also have uh, many elite leftist, uh, leftist or some, you know, uh, free, uh, what's uh, liberalism, a uh, liberalist. Mm -hmm. um, the liberalist in China, a liberalist uh, intellectuals, uh, they, their, you know, they, 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 their political idea is um, try to use the West uh, the democracy system, try to use uh, the democratic system. But the, they also have a tradition, uh, el, uh, elite uh, leftist. They ha, they are more interested in the you know anarchy, anarchism. Like real and, democracy, <laughs> as opposed to liberal. Yeah, democracy. yeah, because we have lived in the some uh, commune, like a, a, it's real. Uh, I mean, in some small, uh, uh, in some small, uh, you know, area, it works where. I have been, I have experienced a little bit of uh, people's commute when I was very young because I uh, found a kid that is, is, for me, it's very interesting and also it's very, a lot of fun because you can meet a lot of people to eat together. So, so it's uh, because they have a dining hall for all the people together. So that's... Uh, that's interesting because that's why some of leftists in China, they, they like to uh, to promote and de develop some uh, new anarchist uh, um, uh, platform, um, and also they have a lot of uh, you know media. Uh, they have uh, they they also have translated a lot of uh, article about you know about this uh, anarchism. And is there a connection between the anarchists and the Taoists in China? Mm, actually, not very much. Uh, actually, people maybe can get, in, they get inspiration from that uh, because Lao, uh, the Lao Tzu and the Zhongs also have a very, um, very, you know, very, uh, very, very, you know, um, idealistic uh, anarchism about, uh, but it's uh, uh, according to my understanding, it's can they want to a small country like Europe, uh, many different uh, small country together, and they don't want this big like China now. That's that's their idea is a. Uh, Separate, many small countries separated, like uh, like Europe. Mm, okay. But you know. Okay, I see. I see. It's interesting. Yeah, but uh, it's uh, yeah. The Bud they also the Buddhists have the, their uh, their their community. It's like the the Christian hermit. Uh, mm. But now the the I think the. Because the religion have uh, have been manipulated by the by the government by politic politics also yeah. in China, so the many uh, religions, um, many temple and uh, church, uh, they have to they have to you know listen to the, the Chinese Communist Party at first. So that's that's a big that's a big uh, you know challenge yeah. for religion in China. Mm. Yeah, religion is managed by the state. Yeah, yeah, the, the communist part side, you, 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 you can't, yeah, you, you can't do the religion 
but you have to listen to the you can't do any kind of resistance or you can't uh, I, I will censor censor you or you have to listen to the government uh, the, the party at first and well, so because this is an uncensored place and we need to close down uh, very soon, do you have any uh, uncensored ideas or comments you would like to share with the world uh, before we, we close this, this round, my own home? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I, I, at last, I want to say today we have a lot of uh, space and, and uh, uh, you know, physical, physically or virtually, uh, to reclaim and uh, recreate and uh, redefine and uh, reinvent, uh, invent. So, um, so there are a lot of challenging, um, yeah, for us to do. You know, so, yeah, that's uh, what I'm seeking. Mm. Thank you so much, my own phone, for your time and for your sharing your thoughts and uh, I the... of the imagination. <laughs> I think it froze a bit. My own phone. Yeah. He's Thank back. you. Oh. Thanks, Ma. Thanks, my own phone. You you are you are frozen. You are frozen. <laughs> okay. What, what did you say? No, I just said thank you for your time and for sharing your thoughts and for allowing us to imagine what other worlds can be possible, uh, specifically from your experience in, in, in China. Okay. In, yeah, in, in just in general, really with your art. Thank you. Thank you for inviting me to, to speak. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I'm sure many people at the so, uh, especially the Stalinist and the Marxist uh, are watching. Uh, as you know, I would like to end on this because there are many, many European Marxists who look at China as the pinnacle of communism and the best place where socialism happened. And so maybe, maybe you want to send them a message. <laughs> yeah, in China, they also have a lot of anarchists, uh, not only Marxists, uh, Marxist, uh, because China is a very complicated country. So, of course, the, it has a lot of layers, layers, and, uh, you know, in, and, uh, and also entanglement. So, it's, uh, it's, not, uh, one, it's not one thing, you know. Yeah, yeah, no, of course. Mm. Of course, no, I just meant about... Uh, the idealization of the Chinese Communist Party, as, like this big uh, ideal socialist, uh, you know, place where communism really happened and all this. Because uh, there, there is a lot of idealization or, or romanticism from Europe I, I, I encountered when I came here about, about China. You know, they see it like the left uh, traditional Marxist, or more orthodox Marxist, I would even call them, are really sort of, yeah, romanticizing or idealizing China. Uh, and it's a bit, uh, yeah, it feels opportunistic, I feel, you know, in many ways. Uh, yeah. If you have encountered this yourself. Yeah, 99% of the European leftist uh, intellectuals, they have uh, idealized China, uh, especially the Cultural Revolution. They have imagined, oh, that's idea, that's a uh, place. But actually, um, thousands of uh, ten thousand, maybe thousands of thousands of people have been have uh, have been, you know, killed and uh, during the, that time, that's a that's a big nightmare. It's, it's not uh, so. That's the future is anarchism. It's not a uh, Marxism. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> Thank, you <for> that. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Welcome. Thank, thank you, my uh, own for Welcome. Super See inspiring. You. Yeah. Ciao. Good night. Good night, my Ciao. So now we Ciao. take another small pause. Yeah. And then we are back with Circles UBI with Julio. <laughs> uh, <laughs>
Then we're gonna make a nice massage to Julio. Just <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, Pause. We'll be back.